I felt like I was held back. I felt like <clears throat> when we had matches, it would be six girl tags, eight girl tags, um, just random matches that meant nothing. I remember looking back at the crowd sometimes and they were just, they're not invested at all. I think that they just thought, okay, women's match, bathroom break or whatever it was. And, you know, I tried to do my best when I had the singles matches, but they were far and few between. And so, you know, I think when you're in that kind of situation and you really have no choice, you just kind of try to make the best of it. And that's what I did. I just, and then eventually I just became so unhappy and I just couldn't stay. If you saw me in WWE, I was a completely different person. Uh, I walked on eggshells, which no one should ever feel that way, and maybe that's partially my fault, but I never felt at all like I needed to be someone else in Impact. I always felt like I could be me. Uh, that's why I'm probably a little bit more vocal, um, because they make me feel comfortable. They're like, okay, you can be Gail, and we like Gail. <laughs> um, and I never felt like Gail was good enough in WWE because I just couldn't be myself. Um, I was always thinking, who do I need to be? Who do I need to be? And honestly, I just needed to be myself. But, you know, the way that I look at things with that company now, when fans ask me, I just say, you know what? My personality did not fit there. And I truly believe that because Knowing my personality now and what it's developed to, I think I would probably get into a fight. <laughs> if I was back in that company, I'd end up punching someone in the office because I'm just so feisty now. And maybe it's my age, uh, I'm 40 now, and so you become more confident and you just put up with less. And so I think if I was back there, uh, I don't think they, they would like me because I don't know if they like strong, outspoken women. I, I don't know, I, I doubt it. You know, I don't feel that they do.